Hey guys, uh, I don't have my normal recording set up here. Um, I'm actually on vacation and I didn't bring anything, but I wanted to uh, post a quick update for you guys. So I've been working for the past couple hours now on getting DevTools re-enabled on DJI Assistant 116. And I've had to go through quite a bit, including merging some of the old code from 112 into 116. And uh, I had to change some other settings and some other things. But uh, without getting into too much detail yet, because I don't want you guys to break anything. Um, basically, the app.asr file, which is... Well, let me go here. Um, I have, by the way, I have, both, I have two installed. This one is 112, and this one is 116. So in 116, the normal place with app.asr... Um, I had to export uh, into a virtual box running Linux so I could unpack it. Um, I had to copy over some files. I had to change some lines in some of them uh, <clears throat> and then repack it, take it back over to Windows and paste it back in here. And this is really the only file that got modified in DJI Assistant 2 uh, 116 here. So essentially, uh, I've got ground station and I'll oh, shoot. I can't remember the other one. I'll show you guys real quick here. Um, but in here in what would be main.js, um, this section right here is what I was targeting. Um, in this case, I did leave. If you remember, open the dev tools. These two right here would normally be commented out leave them that way. Uh, the other one is to set this from 0 to 1. Now there's two of these. Uh, so if yes debug, uh, then set it to 1. Else, uh, obviously if not debug, it would set it to 0, but I said force it to 1. So you don't have to go enter 1 every single time. Uh, the other uh, change here is let me find it. Okay. Um, right here. So auto hide menu bar false. Uh, normally it would be set to true. This, uh, I just changed it and took out the space at the beginning. It works just fine. Um, I guess I could have changed the file instead of doing a hex edit later, but whatever. Um, and then also uh, right here. No, I'm sorry. Set menu no would have set menu bar visibility would have been set to false, including the space. I set it to true. That also works. So this way we know that the menu bar will stay on. So I'll show you what happens. Now, uh, obviously you can tell I've done a bit of work here. Let me close my stuff out. Okay. So if we go into 112, and by the way, I have my Spark on and sitting next to me. You all remember having to do this. One and true. Close it out. And you have the list of things over here. So normally you get Wi-Fi settings, simulator, black box, data upload, and firmware update. Um, I've tried to add in uh, as many of these as I could, and I didn't get very many. I'm not sure where else they're hiding, but I'm still working on that. So I'll give you the look. I'm not sure if I can open both at the same time or not. There's that one. Now if I open up 116. Okay, so it won't let me do that. That's fine. Now 116 gives me this. Now this is the menu bar up at the top. Um, auto test. Still has nothing. Um, however, Ground Station does. Um, and I pulled that from 112 and I merged it in. It does appear to, to work. Everything's here. As far as I can tell, uh, everything works on this one. Um, at least that I'm aware of. Well, maybe not settings. I'll have to look into a little bit more of what this requires. But uh, for the most part, it's here. Um, it could, looks like it could use some work, but, uh, yeah, ground station's a work in progress, 
and developer tools now opens instead of a blank window with three different options. I'm not sure what send and accept is. Um, I'm still new to drones in general, so I'm working on figuring the stuff out. Uh, graphic, that looked like a bit of a strange layout, and honestly, I have absolutely no idea what all this is. Um, maybe some of you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you can tell me. And simulator based on WebGL uh, seems to work. I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried to go much farther than I could open the window. But uh, if we go into the Spark, unfortunately, you still have these five. There's nothing new added here. Um, so it must be uh, disabled somewhere else. It may be in the actual EXE. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not positive I can even pull that apart the same way uh, as I did the ASAR files. But I will see if I can figure out a little bit more. Um, I am keeping track, for the most part, <laughs> of my progress. And uh, I will try to keep you guys updated with any new uh, advancements. If some of you have something new that you'd like to um, point out or something that maybe I'm overlooking that might make this uh, move along a little farther, go ahead and let me know. Um, so, well, I mean, that's my current progress. So like, share, subscribe. Hope this was helpful for you. Uh, stay tuned, watch some more videos, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see some more updates. And I will see you guys in the next video.